Your May holiday season na kayo ba? Bawal ba ang Caroline? Bawal ba ang Christmas Bazaar? Okay, that's a good question. So, okay. para mahanda na natin. Uh, thank you for the question. Bawal ang Caroline sa Maynila. Well, uh, we will continue to come up with uh, all other things that are uh, doable and duplicable. This is just the beginning of uh, other efforts and we will continue to find ways really how to suppress the numbers. As you all know, we will be trying for uh, so, so many months, eight months now, uh, to how to really suppress the numbers. And, uh, I'm just happy to share it to you that we are uh, under 500 uh, for uh, two weeks now. Uh, it's, it's been two weeks consistently it's below uh, 500. The next goal of uh, our uh, Manila Health Department Director uh, Ox Pangan and to our MHC family is to go below 400 cross finger. But you know, this is a cold weather, cold season. We don't know what will be the effect uh, of the, with regard to the numbers sa, sa panahon, no? kasi wala pa tayong uh, data about it. But uh, so far in the past months, in, in a hot weather, medyo baka mag-iba eh, yung uh, timpla. So we're still cautious. We still continue to build more capacity. We continue to equip our hospital as much as possible and continue to protect our uh, frontliners, medical frontliners and we'll come up with other things and now we are facing a, a challenge to ourselves on how to mitigate the economic effect of this pandemic sa mga family familia so ang goal talaga namin and we're very happy to share it to you that uh, a few hundred people in our first attempt on finding jobs for uh, our people uh, so far medyo on track naman at medyo maganda naman yung resulta. So we will continue to do so. We will be a bridge between the employers who are seeking employees and employees who are seeking for jobs. We will try to uh, in our own little way try to make Manila is a city of opportunity uh, in this pandemic. Ano pa may one week lang. Bumababa ba o level o tumatakas? We're very happy to inform you that uh, for the past two weeks it's below 500. So when you look at the graph, it's plateau uh, from a regular 1413, 1413, then irregular 800, 800, 800, 700. Uh, it's been uh, quite some time now that it's below 500. And uh, I would like to thank the people of Manila. Kasi sila ang sushi talaga niya, tao pa. And as you can see, that's uh, about 10% of our uh, barangay uh, are COVID free for the past two months. So the best way to do it from a neighboring barangay is to ask their neighboring barangay official how they did it. And I think it's duplicable, doable. This is rocket science. And that's what we encourage. Maging uh, aggressive about barangay. Your May holiday season na kayo ba? Bawal ba ang Caroline? Bawal ba ang Christmas Bazaar? Okay, that's a good question. So, okay. para mahanda na natin. Thank you for the question. Bawal ang Caroling sa Maynila. Oh. Bawal. So, when you say bawal, don't attempt. Bawal. We come up with the uh, guidelines, but we will not encourage. But, having said that, bazaars will be open. In fact, I already tasked uh, Director Levy Facundo last Friday to gather all possible manileños 
kung may mga produkto sa may talent, may skills. Yung naalala nyo, pino, ano namin, pinapromote namin sa Capital Report, mga produkto, mga gawang, gawa ng mga batang Maynila, or hindi taga Maynila. I don't care. They are all welcome in Manila. In fact, we will put a place for them to have an opportunity to earn a decent living or extra savings and to provide an opportunity like jobs to others. But rest assured that what happened in, in the agenda, how it was done, and anong natapos, nakita nyo naman na talaga na uh, modesty aside. Nakita nyo naman na talagang uh, naging maayos. So, we will do the same thing. And in, in fact, if the malls will do it, we'll support them. We will support them. As long as I hope that we continue to be responsible businessman, responsible individual, and responsible consumer. Now, the effort of the city will continue also in testing, 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 good servant, ser they deliver the services sa mga malls, mga jeeps, mga palengke namin. We will continue to test a lot of people. And we guarantee you, it's going to be free. Don't go to any organization that will ask for a fee. In Manila, it's free. There's free mass testing. Hanggat kaya namin. Huwag kayong mahihiya, ha? Huwag kayong mag-aalang namin kung hindi kayo taga Manila. No, this is a universal problem. It has to be approached inclusively. And we will try in our own little way. Atapin ang lahat. Lahat ng taga Manila at lahat ng dadako sa Manila to protect the consumer with regard to incoming activities in the city like the question about bazaars para yung kumpiyan sa banong utaw eh nandoon pa rin. Yung mito sa Caroling na pag-usapan niyo na ba to sa MMC ano po yung collective decision? Well, I am not authorized to uh, to uh, say what we have voted last night. But I guarantee you, uh, uh, GM Jojo uh, will have uh, something to say today. But uh, for the meantime, uh, just to be uh, specific with the question about what will happen to Manila, uh, no caroling in Manila. But uh, you can now call uh, GM Jojo because we have finished last night. Our, the Metro Manila mayors and the members of the IATF met last night and we have a consensus and I guarantee it's unanimous. So whatever will be the, the statement of GM Jojo, we'll happy to hear it. Mayor, may mga um, online, mga nagkikriticize po kasi may mga buildings, prominent buildings during pre-war, especially po sa Binondo na nag-demolish. Mm. Tapos um, ano po reaction natin? Dito, lalo na po may mga ilang kondo daw po na tinatayo sa paligid ng San Sebastian Church. So parang yung heritage na pinupush natin, Mayor, yeah. parang na... We will continue to protect whatever is left as certified by the NHCP. We cannot just uh, listen to Pat and say, oh, this building is heritage because I, I don't think that Pat knows it better than NH, NHCP. So we will continue to follow rules and regulations, as a matter of policy, we will continue to protect whatever is left as certified by the agencies of government, not by Pat, not by him, or anybody else. Uh, while we listen to them, while we respect their views, but there must be certainty in our rules that that is very important to me. Now, as far as we're concerned, uh, wala pa naman kami pinirmang hindi dumaan sa NHC o National Heritage. So, assurance mayor, walang gigibayin hanggit walang yung sakong ng heritage? Pag hindi sinertify, kwento ang barbero lang yun. Kahit po ba siya? Kwento ang lang nila yun. It has to be certified by them. Now, if I were them, if I were them, those community members, bago nyo naman ibenta sa iba, kung talaga may malasakit itong mga ito, bago nyo naman ibenta sa iba, bakit hindi nyo muna ibenta sa gobyerno? 
For example, let's just let's just say uh, two tips in right perfect. Bahay ni Bonifacio. No, may plaka. Pero pag-aari ng privado, binubulok lang. So there is more to... Mas marami pwedeng tingnan. Uh, at saka may kanya-kanyang responsibilidad. In fact, uh, I'll tell you, there is this building in Quiapo. Without the permit, giniba ng may-ari. We, we are going after them now. Yeah. Uh, it's a three-door apartment, an old uh, building. Uh, they live in Quezon City. Uh, but uh, we are investigating them. And I told Engineer Andres, bakit nakapag-iba ng walang demolition permit? Kasi I always wanted to pass through the regular channel, the painstaking process, and it has to be attended diligently. Para wala pang ano, discretion. Wala pang discretion, walang discretion siya. Lahat tayo, nandun lang sa particular na rules niya. Your Mr. Mr. last question Mr. 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 It's just that uh, itong mga to, uh, masyadong relax. Uh, may mga kriminal na magagaling. Pero kahit anong galing nila, tatlong taon sila bitago, dalawang taon sila bitago. O oh, yung isa, ano pa, di ba? Lalala mo yung isa, most wanted. Number one wanted ng buong Maynila. Walang nakakalawit yun. For so many years. O oh, tayo na buwan na. Yung isa buhay, yung isa medyo hindi pinalat kahit na uh, talaga naman yun ang ginusto niya but as you can see modesty aside we are trying to really gather I and mean, get them na buhay yun ang policy natin eh. try to really tolerate hanggat kaya na hindi naman nalalagay sa alangan ng buhay ng buhay pero so far uh, batting average we cannot prevent these people doing crimes They can, crimes can happen anywhere in the world. Yun pa, ang pinakamaraming snatching sa Paris. O, sa, sa France, sa I mean, marami doon. Nagpapalonggis ka talaga roon. But it can happen. I'm not saying, basta tayo naman, ang, ang ano natin, lahat, tao, hanggat kaya natin mabigyan ng solusyon. So, solusyonan natin. It, it's applicable to anybody. Even the victims of others. Diba, naalala mo, pati sa mga ordinary tao na inaanagawa ng cellphone, diba? A few months ago. Well, it's all in the Facebook. In our account, you can check it. Ordinary citizen, may pangalan wala. Ano na ba? Dibigyan natin ng atma at tama. And safe pa rin sa Manila. Well, how I wish, I can honestly say that. With all honesty, I'm sure I'm the First person who can be proud, right? Kapag no, sinayang yung safe sa Manila, syempre ako na dapat magsabi. They, may posibilidad pa rin. May posibilidad na may mangyari mga petty crimes or other crimes in the city. The same thing in, will happen to other cities. But, ito lang ang garantiyan namin. We do it here, dalawang bagay lang. Sumuko ka na lang, or one way or another, makakalawit ka namin. The only question is time. Time. Pwede bukas, pwede sa makalawa, o pwede sa isang taon. But we will go after you. So, stay away from Manila. So, ayun ang sigurong, at the very least, uh, masasabi ko. I, I really wanted it safe. Uh, I really wanted it safe. But it's not, not a guarantee yet. It's not a guarantee yet. But we're doing our best. Mayor, um, yung sa 100k po na um, cash, uh, incentive sa ating mga barangay, um, papatuloy ba natin ito? Parang kumbaga may second batch pa tayo. Why not? Oh, uh, they call it uh, in, in economics, uh, incentivize. Uh, why not? You know, ganito ang logic ko, no? Uh, if I'm willing to spend 
hundreds of millions, two hundreds of millions, even billions. No, we are willing, the city government, to spend so much money just to save one person who are infected. Then there is no point for us to think twice to give incentives to the barangay to keep their uh, uh, community healthy. Baka pataasin ko pa. Ang garantiya ko lang sa mamamayan, hindi naman tatanganan ni Chairman nito. Hindi naman tatanganan to ni Secretary Treasurer. Pero ng barangay. Now, let's just say, ayoko naman silang pamunahan. Total, pero naman ngayon. Na binigay ng siyudad. Ayoko naman silang pamunahan. But, like this one, Christmas, maraming nga nga sa barangay nila. So, through these incentives, healthy yung barangay, ngayon, nakakagawa pa sila kasi wala ng pera barangay. You can go around, not only in Manila, you can go around in other cities. Maraming barangay na tukod na dahil na toskas na lahat sa tukod sa pandemia po sa pasang mga. So, if they have 100,000, then I have uh, 1,000 family or 500 families in my barangay. I can do something and think of something na paano pagdating ng Pasko, walang nga nga sa bawat lamesa ng pamilya sa barangay. Hindi ko naman sila pangungunahan. But I'm just telling uh, something that uh, maramdaman, oh, dahil naging mabuti kayo, dahil kayo yung sumunod sa amin, o oh, konting porbetso man naman. Uh, yan, yan yung logic. Uh, in economics, they call it incentives. And I will not hesitate, and I hope uh, we can come up with other uh, ways giving incentives that addresses and focus on fighting coronavirus. Okay? This is now oh, this is no ordinary ordinance. We're creating uh, this thick or makapal na ordinance ato na inilahat na no, yung inilahat na yung polisiya, inilahat na yung proseso, inilahat. Alam mo yung ina-address namin based on commentaries sa tao. Like for example, I'll, I'll give you one example. May mga request yung mga nangungupahan at empleyado na kung po pwede, maka-avail sila ng programa. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. While we address ISF, we can address simultaneously uh, the working class. So it has to be included in the law. And this type of law that we're drafting, it includes investment. It includes uh, principal growth. The equity growth. This is a Ano tawag ko dyan? Boom ecosystem. For that program to address housing in the city of Manila for the next 5, 10, 15 years or 20 years, even 50 years. I don't mind. This is going to be the Bible of how the city of Manila will address informal settlers and opportunity for those who are renters, kung nangungupahan ka, pwede ka magkaroon na ng opportunity kasi nilingon ka rin ng Maynila ng pamalang resort. Now, when I said uh, I want money to continue it, of course, pagdating ng araw, kung lulubi ng mga taga Maynila na ako'y magpatuloy na mayor, eh may hangganan naman ang lahat. Alam mo, pagsikat ng araw, iyak ako at kapit hapon lulubog. So, Malayo pa man, kailangan yung inevitable is ina-accept mo na. That there will time, ka, that time will come that I have to stop. And the next leaders will assume the office. And I would prepare, of course, Vice Mayor Han. In this case, we drafted and formulated a long-term solution for housing for informal settlers, 
and middle age farmer for the working class. Tapos yun yung guy. So ang gagawin na lang na susunod na leaders, and hopefully it's honey, no? eh, meron na guy. Uh, yun yung gusto ko talaga. Kasi ganun ginawa ni Lee Kuan Yew. Eh. He really, uh, uh, hindi, lang yan, hindi lang siya nagtayo ng building, kundi pinalago, pinayabong niya yung panalalaki na galing doon sa programa na yun. At gugulong, at gugulong, at gugulong. Someday, somehow, self-liquidating yung ating housing project for everyone. So even these cameraman, someday, somehow, they can avail. They can avail that program. Anybody who, who really do the eight-hour job, anybody. So makikita ninyo, through time, through patience, through meticulous study and getting some reference from ISF, from squatter, sumunod na renter or uh, eight hour job individual. So yun ang gusto natin <laughs> dumawa. Kaya gusto ko paggawa ng patas, it's uh, literally that anybody can understand it. Ah, meron ako, kasali na ako. Possibly ako, na paano ako magka-qualify? Ay, ito pala, oh. Kaya mawawala na yung tolonggisan. So, wala yung, ito favorite ko, ito favorite ko, ito ayaw ko. Hindi. Ito, equal opportunity, oh, sinabi. O, it can be a draw lag, it can be a economic study, whatever it is. Basta gusto natin, pat, gumawa ng North Star of housing. Whether horizontal, or vertical, but it has to be in city. So, gusto ko dito rin, para walang displace. For opportunity for their children to acquire free primary, secondary, tertiary quality education. Free better health care. Access to better health care. And job opportunity when you live in the city. So, yun yung, ano yan, mga makangarap na ano natin. But, hindi lang siya laway, as you can see, it's being built. Now, what we're trying to do now is the processes, how to have it. And I guarantee you, Pat, and I guarantee everyone, in these three buildings, some renters, renters, an eight-hour job person, will benefit from this. Because, alam namin may sobra. Tapos, magre-reformulate lang. So, sunod, Piyayit-piyayit na. Squatter, together. Squatter, together. So, mag-mix yung demographics. Ayun yung ibig sabihin. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you, Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. At kung hindi nyo pala papanood ang iba kong videos, nandyan po ang previous videos at my suggestion. At huwag po ninyong kalimutan na i-click ang subscribe button para updated po kayo sa aking mga ilalabas. Hanggang sa muli, bye bye